As we continue to talk about celebration, our theme today is walking and leaping and praising God. And it's a story from Acts chapter 3 in which we have the first healing story done by Peter and John after the Holy Spirit has come upon them and the first believers on the day of Pentecost. One day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at three o'clock in the afternoon and a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him at the gate of the temple called the beautiful gate so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, <laughs> and said, Look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. <laughs> but Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, he stood and began to walk, and he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God, and they recognized him as the one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Well, this is the beginning of quite a story that unfolds in Acts chapter 3. But in talking about celebration, I think where we want to focus on is this idea of walking and leaping and praising God. We may not have experienced as dramatic uh, a healing or a transformation as the man who had been lame from birth, who had never been able to walk or run or jump. Can you imagine what it was like for him every day to see people just using their limbs in ways that we just take for granted if we're able-bodied? How often do we think about people who are paraplegics, or in wheelchairs, or who lose a limb in the service or due to an accident. And yet here is this man, he never could walk, and now he's given the ability through the power of Jesus' name. And he cannot contain his gratitude and his praise and his celebration. Think of what you have to be grateful for. Think about just the functioning of your body. If you didn't have the ability to speak or to hear or to see or to move, and you were suddenly given that ability, how much would you praise God? The fact that you have the ability to do those things, what kind of praise will you give God for that today?